Walker, K-E-N-W-A-L-K-E-R, Chief of Police, West University Police. Yeah, okay. About 8.46 a.m. last Wednesday, uh, Brad's wife came to the police department and reporting it, reported him missing. About 1 o'clock that same day, we received a call from the Houston Police Department. They had found Brad's vehicle burnt out at Bear Creek Park. The vehicle was severely burned. Uh, most of the recognizing or identifying information had been destroyed. One of the HPD officers knew that they could find a secret VIN number. He found that number, ran it, and it came back as a missing person's vehicle. We were then notified where the vehicle was. Officers went out to Bear Creek Park and searched for evidence. And on Thursday and Friday, Officers from Precinct 5, Precinct 1, Houston Police Department, Westview Police Department, and EquiSearch did, conducted two days of search in the area and failed to find anything. We did locate and we're interviewing again a witness that saw a male walking away from the burning vehicle that morning. Early morning Wednesday on the 21st, our camera system at Westview recorded Brett leave or his vehicle leaving Westview at 4.21 a.m. He was not following anyone and no one was following him. Detectives last week submitted requests for subpoenas for financial records as well as phone records and we're awaiting the information that we've requested to be given to us. A lot of other things have gone on investigative wise that I'm not, uh, that we can't release at this point. Unfortunately, in high profile cases, social media takes over and a lot of misinformation is spread as well as people that uh, claim to have knowledge of the missing person or the investigation in the, into the missing person. And that's why we were here today to try to put out what we have, which isn't much at this point. When we put out information, we have to understand that any possible suspects in a crime, the person it, that left, or any co-conspirators involved in any part of this are watching our post also. So we have to be very careful about what we put out as far as what our investigations concluding and what we're doing. At this time, we have absolutely no information that would indicate that foul play was involved. We do have some information that indicates it may have been pre-planned with no crime involved, but it's way too early to come to that conclusion now. We've developed a lot of information about his behavior, uh, and we're looking into that as well as several other areas that he may be. It's uh, really hard for me to understand <clears throat> if there's no foul play involved how a person could put his family through this kind of trauma. But I'm convinced that he will be found. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Do you have any questions? Yeah, him, him leaving at 420 in the morning, is that out of the normal for him? No, not from what we understand. He goes to work early. And the person leaving the car, it was burning. What? What? what, what is there anything there? What's... The only thing we have is a person reported seeing a male walk away from the burning car. And I've told you all we have at this point, we're still investigating some other leads in that area. You call this a um, high profile cases where, where folks pay attention on social media yeah. and misinformation. Why would you consider this a high profile case? It's one of our residents that disappeared. Uh, and. Uh, 
you know, we, we take these things very seriously, although it hasn't been that long, but it's serious to us and the family. And with uh, the media coverage and, and social media, it is high profile. Anyone else? What are we missing? You know, what, should, what questions should we ask? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, we're asking, obviously, a lot of questions of a lot of people. And uh, we're still gathering information. Uh, I actually thought that we'd have it resolved over the weekend, but it didn't happen yet. It'll happen. It's, uh, it may take a while. We hope not for the family's sake. I, I apologize for coming in late. Do, um, are you having teams searching the park? Or? That was already done last Thursday and Friday. Okay, so there's not any continuing search or anything like that? Not at the park. Anywhere else? Not for him. Searching for evidence or witnesses, yes. Do you suspect foul play, sir? No, I've already. Okay, there is, I'll let me put it this way, like I just told them. Okay. At this point, we have no information that indicates foul play. You mentioned that there was some indication it may have been planned? Yes. No. So from the time he left at 420, he didn't call home to his wife or family, anybody he just left at 420 and there was no other contact with him? Correct. There were some rumblings in your newsroom that there may have been a suicide attempt. Is that anything you're considering? We have not heard that. And I don't know what he was considering. And we haven't found any evidence of that. But what about his personal life? Can you go into any details of as far as who he was? No. So what do you want the public to do? I mean, looking at area? If they see someone that looks like him, please call us immediately. Uh, his name and descriptions on a nationwide database, if any law enforcement checks his name in that database, we'll get a hit, or they'll get a hit and notify us. So words out there. And if I'm not mistaken, did you say you believe at some point in time he's going to show up yes I I don't know if he'll show up I believe at some point in time he will be found uh, one of the folks back here just had a question about the jurisdiction of the park mm -hmm. if it's federal land and if that has any bearing on who helps to investigate we <laughs> one of the neat things about this area is when any department has a major issue officers line up to help and we've had that assistance from Houston, Precinct 5, Precinct 1. Uh, that's the way law enforcement is in Texas. Uh, as far as jurisdiction, I believe it will be Houston Police Department if it's determined that a crime occurred at the park. He's missing from Westview, even though we know by cameras that he left Westview. But he's reported missing here, so we're, we're investigating the missing person. Should anything else develop outside of Westview, it'll be the agency who has jurisdiction there. We are, as we speak, working with uh, deputy constables in the different areas trying to gather more evidence. The truck, the burned truck, was in the park truck? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's not a crime? If he tarts his car, it's, it's arson. So there's that crime. Uh, yes, but we're concerned about his welfare and the missing person. Okay. When, when he left Westview, was there any uh, bad reason for him to leave? Was there arguments or anything? I uh, don't personal, but was there any domestic stuff going on to, to make we him want to leave like that? We have no information that would indicate any kind of problem like that. Has the family gone out any other pictures, perhaps one without a beard? So that I think there's one on uh, Facebook or something like that. But, uh, there are some other photos out there. And you're searching for all records and all that kind of stuff as well? We've uh, asked for subpoenas to be issued for those records. And, uh, and again, I apologize because I am late. I apologize, sir. But does he have any history of mental health issues? Not that we're aware of. Not that you're aware of. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
not at all that we're aware of. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>